growing up being an athlete and being in this business were two totally different things. Because coming from an athletic background, I learned that the best person on the field was the person that won the game, okay? The more points you put on the board, you were the winner. You were the best on that day at that particular time. Maybe not the best athlete ever, but you were the best out of everybody else that you were competing against. And there was no disputing about it, okay? If you crossed the finish line first, then you were the fastest and you won the blue ribbon, hands down. But in this business, it's more subjective, okay? Athletics is very, you know, it's just, it's just very matter of fact. But in the TV business, it's more object, I mean, more subjective, you know? I mean, it's a person's opinion as to whether you're the best or not. And that, I think, was the biggest hurdle for me to accept. And, you know, some people may look at that as being discriminatory, which I think it is, but it's just, you know, going into a whole different animal, you know? Because now you're being judged on just a person's opinion. Whereas before, first, I was being judged on whether I crossed the finish line first or not, you know? And if I didn't, I automatically knew I was not the best, okay? So, you know, that was, that was easy to take. But then when you're judged on someone else's opinions, whose opinion, of course, is based on their background, is based on their perceptions, is based on their mentality, you know, is based on their upbringing, you know, then it's a whole different ball game, you know? So, so, so that was the difference in terms of being judged on someone else's opinion versus being judged on the fact of the matter.